An Iranian athlete who competed without her hijab in Seoul on Sunday is now back at home. The show of defiance by Elnath Rakabi came as protests grip the Islamic Republic since the death of 22-year-old Masa Amini in police custody. The female athlete's decision to ditch the hijab hasn't been without controversy. BBC Persian has reported that her mobile phone and passport have both been confiscated by officials. Well, France 24's Yena Lee joins us now from Seoul in South Korea. Yena, what do we know so far about reactions there? So what we do know so far is that El Nas Rakabi took part in those Asian climbing championships here in Seoul. And we saw during the last leg of the Boulder and Lead event, we saw her climbing that wall without a head covering and eventually winning a fourth place. And those images and those photos of her doing that kind of went viral in the aftermath. There was a lot of headlines about her. A lot of people were commenting on her bravery. Basically, observers interpreting this as a, a Rakabi uh, support for the ongoing protest movement in Iran. Um, and it's also led to a lot of uh, questions about what's going to happen to her. There were a lot of unverified reports of a possible disappearance. Um, and then there was a message that uh, Rakabi uh, seemingly posted on her social media account saying there was an unintentional error in the way I dressed. I apologize for any concern I caused and that I'm going back to Iran as planned, though, of course, that is very difficult for us to verify at this moment if she wrote that message herself or if she wrote it under any kind of a, a duress. Has there been any reaction from sports authorities or others in, uh, in, in Seoul? Uh, absolutely. Not necessarily in Seoul, but of course the organisers of this uh, climbing event, they've uh, released a statement uh, saying that they have been in contact with the athlete and that they will be monitoring the situation uh, to come. Here in Seoul, the Iranian embassy has been very quick to uh, dismiss any uh, accusations of, of forced disappearances. They've been uh, criticising what they call fake news and disinformation. Um, although the athlete may be back in Tehran, though, as the Iranian embassy had announced, it doesn't mean that there's nothing to worry about. Um, the BBC Persian, as you said earlier, uh, reported that the athlete couldn't be reached after Sunday after showing her hair to the public. And it's a fact that Iran does have restrictive laws uh, for women. In 2020, an Olympian um, athlete of Taekwondo, she defected uh, joining a long list of athletes who have defected Iran. In 2019, a female boxer uh, competed in a championship in France without a headscarf either, and she uh, never returned to Iran for fears of being arrested when she did. So now there are similar fears for Elnaz Rakabi. Um, all of this taking place, of course, in a country here in South Korea where, where head coverings aren't required and, and, and they're not uh, banned either. And the South Korean foreign ministry so far has been very tight-lipped. Well, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much, uh, France 24's Yenna Lee there in Seoul. Thanks very much.